And I look at it from my perspective, maybe there's three tiers of accuracy. Majority of the products that we have are entry level running off that WAS level correction. And anywhere from six to 12 inches pass to pass is what we say. Key thing in agriculture is we look at accuracy based on driving a line and coming back. And we measure it on pass to pass. So how close are we gonna be to the previous line? So typically the guidance systems for sprayers and spreading fertilizer run off that WAS level correction. If we go up one tier, we're into some type of subscribed correction signal, whether it be John Deere Starfire or OmniStar, HP. Those are companies that sell subscription that we would pay for to get us down two to four, three to five inch pass to pass accuracy. And then ultimately we get to the top of the ladder, RTK, where now we, we provide our own source of correction, a base station either in the field or on top of a tower, and that gets us down into that sub-inch level of accuracy. And with that, we also get the repeatability component of that. So. Darren, can you add to that? What, kind of, what percentage of uh, producers do you think are WAS versus signal versus RTK? Same thing. Covering Canada, there's pockets in Canada that like the higher accuracy, such as southern Manitoba. Um, pockets out here in Ontario and uh, also uh, southern uh, Alberta, there's some higher accuracy pockets that are looking for the RTK type accuracy for potatoes, sugar beets, uh, vegetables like you'd mentioned. Uh, but for the most part, uh, broad acre farmers uh, pulling big air seeders, stuff like that in western Canada, just looking for the WAS accuracy if they can get it, you know, with uh, with auto steer and that six, four to six inch accuracy, that's, that's really all they're looking for. Jordan, have, have you ever had anyone come back and say, it's too accurate, I want to go the other way? <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I've never had that actually. Um, we get it all the time, you know, where guys want to upgrade their signal, but never, never go the other way. Um, you know, one of the things that that uh, you know, I'll, I'll add a little bit to what John was saying there. Um, you know, we we've, we usually start a lot of guys off with with a WAS type signal, then move them to a subscription based. Um, there are a few companies out on the market right now that that are getting into uh, what they're calling VRS, which is is very similar to RTK as well. Uh, and we're finding a lot of guys are, are really showing a lot of interest in VRS, um, and then and then RTK definitely is, is in the top there as well. Is VRS you pay for that signal? As well? um, yes and no. There's there are network. <laughs> that's a complicated one to kind of get get linked through. Basically, it's the same as as RTK is, uh, except we're running a cell modem to transmit the signal between the base station and the tractor instead of using a 900 megahertz radio or a 450 megahertz radio to, to transmit that signal. Um, the, the system itself, if, if you have a network, same as RTK, if there's an RTK network, most times you're buying into, you know, renting the subscription or the actual signal that way, or if you own your own station, then, you know, the signal the signal doesn't cost you anything. Um, so it's, it's kind of a, a two-answered question. It just depends on the situation. Rob, can you speak to the cost of the, pay, the subscription based signal through John Deere and, and are you folks involved with an RTK network as well or maybe some of the costs and uh, the logistics involved there? How much time do you have, Peter? <laughs> Actually, yes, we are involved with the uh, the networking, um, as Peter referred to. It is a uh, dealer-based, uh, basically a base station that the dealer basically uh, takes the onus on. That the uh, uh, basically buys the base station that the dealership does, and then does a subscription similar to what our SF2 signal is out to the customer. Um, the advantage to the customer is that they do not have to make the initial purchase of their own base station, um, and they don't have to look after it as well. So, so that's. Uh, the RTK end of it. Uh, subscription fees, uh, primarily with John Deere, uh, the SF2 signal um, is about 800 US uh, per year, and uh, there is uh, options for three, six months, 12 months, etc. So, 